Biggio. So apparently Kevin Biggio in the minor leagues right now is doing pretty decent. And I wanted to show y'all... I'm going to show y'all his numbers a little bit. All right, so we're looking here. Buffalo 2022. Eight games. Eight games. Okay. He's got 22 yes. at-bats. However, he's hitting 318. That on Ooh. base of 483. Slugging. Is that good, Adam? <laughs> it's not good, Patrick. It's not good. It's no. great. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my Frosted Flakes? Oh, <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, slugging of 455 and an OPS of 9. 37. So that's pretty darn good. Good. Um, Hasn't we, left the yard, but he swiped two bags. Yeah. So he's literally getting a little bit of everything. He's and getting, that's what you want to see. You want to see him doing exactly yeah. what he's done in the past in the majors. Yeah. And hey, he's got three doubles. So there, there that's doubles. something, right? And like, yeah. oh, look, I don't want Kevin Bishop to be a, a home run hitter. I mean, he only in his whole MLB career has 31 homers. And, uh, and how many at bats? 847. Uh, 847. It's like yeah, maybe 15 to 20 a year. Yeah, he's not a, he's not a big home run guy, but hey, just be a productive player. Be that utility guy. Play some outfield. Be the super utility. Be the, they super, want the super utility, utility man. Who's got speed. You know, that's all I ask for you. So the question that I wanted to bring up is, should we bring up Kevin Biggio from the minors and replace, I don't know, Bradley Zimmer? <laughs> like, cool. like, you know, know what I mean? <laughs> Come on, get rid of Bradley yeah. Zimmer. I'm tired I mean, of this I'm guy. all for the idea if he actually has, if they think that he's got his confidence back, he has fixed what he needs to fix upstairs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that, again, those are questions that we can't answer without being able to talk to these coaches in Buffalo. And yeah. But let's say Charlie gives him a ring and they agree that it's time. He should be right back in the lineup in Toronto. Not a call up to sit on the bench. You should be in the lineup if they're gonna call him up. Oh, interesting. So like you call him up, he's playing. Well, like what's the that. point in calling him up and sitting him on the bench here? That right. destroys the confidence he's just been building up. Right. That's you true. Say, we see you. All you've work you've put in. Yeah. Let's do it again. I mean, hey, I mean, like every other day you see Tapia and, and Zimmer in the lineup. Why can't that be Kevin Biggio? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And again, we're we're splitting hairs here on what we consider to be the ultimate number nine hitter. <laughs> yeah. We really right? need to. Like, yeah, that's true. Because, like, we, well, the thing is, well, do we need to? That's the thing. Because our guys have been struggling in terms of the production. I know you got a few stats you want to show The later. answer is, yes, we do need to. Yeah, <laughs> the answer is, yes. Like, we need guys who are coming in at the number nine spot that could end up being, like, in the top five. <laughs>